From the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, good Wednesday morning as we head into the afternoon hours. We're continuing to see that cold front push through our areas, bringing some strong winds and some cooler temperatures to our region. As we take a look at the map, you can see that it's bringing blizzard conditions to the Dakotas this morning and in Nebraska. That's where we have blizzard warnings in effect there. That cold front moving through for us, but unfortunately, we're not seeing any of that moisture with it. We desperately need it. But there could be hope on the horizon for some more rainfall eventually. Now, yesterday we saw those gusty winds across the region. In Abernathy, had a peak wind gust of 40 miles per hour. Rawls and the Reese Center there topped out at 38 miles per hour. And Plainview and Dimmit saw those wind gusts approach 37. Today, much of the same can be said, and those winds are already gusting over 40 miles per hour for some locations. Our Overton East Live Sky View, a clear blue sky behind that cold front here in the Hub City, but it's going to be chilly today. We might get back up to a high around 50 by noon, but I think we'll be lucky if we do that. Temperatures are expected to continually fall throughout the day with those near freezing temperatures arriving by 9 p.m. So we're going to be below freezing for at least about 12 to 13 hours tonight. So be sure to bring in those pets and plants sensitive to frost. Can't forget our furry friends whenever we're talking about this type of cold. We do have a wind advisory in effect today from Briscoe back down towards King County for wind gusts upwards of 45 to 50 miles per hour there. So quite breezy in those locations, but area wide we will see that blowing dust throughout the day today. Notice as we take a look at our wind gust tracker, wind gusts upwards of 40 miles per hour today, 40 miles per hour tomorrow as well, but out of the due west. So looking unfortunately more like a brown Christmas here in West Texas instead of a white Christmas. But like I said, we desperately need that moisture and we're not going to see it for the next few days. That is why we have a fire weather risk over the next couple of days, an elevated risk for every single county in the KMAC viewing area, both for today and for our Thursday tomorrow. So outdoor burning not advised. If you're doing any outdoor cooking or grilling, just be extra cautious as fires could spread rather rapidly uh, with the type of environment we have today. These are our wind chill temperatures for tomorrow morning. I know Santa is very glad that he doesn't go out tonight into tomorrow morning because it's going to feel like seven degrees in Lubbock by sunrise tomorrow. Five in Muleshoe, nine in Silverton, and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if a few locations did feel like the negative digits due to those strong winds tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, though, still going to be cold with those strong winds around, but thankfully we do get out of the single digits. And as we take a look at our Thursday, more sunshine across the area for Christmas Eve. But Thursday night into Friday morning, when Santa's making those rounds across West Texas, it looks like weather won't be too much of a factor then, and we'll keep the clouds around all day for our Christmas day. This year, again, it looks like a warm Christmas for us in the South Plains, a height of 58 degrees with those clouds around. We're going to be about five degrees above average for this time of year. Now, as we take a look at early next week, it appears another cold front is expected to move into our area, possibly bringing some more rain showers into the region by Tuesday. We're going to cross our fingers and hope this can happen because we definitely need it. The six to 10 day outlook shows above average precipitation chances and below average temperatures over the next six to 10 days. So, hey, we will definitely take it going to feel like a little more like winter, hopefully as we head into next week. But this weekend it's going to be nice and warm with highs in the 60s sunshine. So if the kiddos get any outdoor toys, it's going to be a great weekend for those to them to enjoy that. But Monday and Tuesday, that's whenever weather turns a little nasty and it looks like we'll wrap up 2020 with some cloudy, cool and hopefully wet weather here in the South Plains. And looks like Santa will Luckily, get a warm welcome here to the yes. Hub City because uh, <laughs> definitely going to be warmer than what he's going to see over in other parts of the nation where they're having a lot of that snow. Yeah, like we said, in the Dakotas having the blizzard today out east, they're seeing severe weather and then snow right behind it. So we're not going to complain too much about the 50s for Christmas Day. You will not see me complaining <laughs> at all. Well, we'll be right back with some entertainment news. Enjoy everything. This